Hi and welcome to my channel. This is Sarah from Sarah Beth Plans and today we are going to be planning Thanksgiving week in my new um, Wonderland A5 planner. I'm very excited about this planner. It is everything that I've been looking for for the last several years and they have combined everything to make the perfect layout for me. So I'm very excited. These are the new kits that we are going to be offering for the size planner. This is the A5 Wonderland uh, 222 kit, and you will receive um, an option to purchase a full kit, which will come with all of our functional script, along with the uh, full box page and the functional page. If you are a planner that only uses functional items, there will be a mini kit option, which will just be this page along with all the functional scripts. So if you are interested in seeing how this turns out, please stay tuned. Um, this right here is our new kit that's already in the shop. This is the A5 Wonderland um, yearly overview stickers. So you get in the kit all four years, and this way you can, um, make this page pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This was my last week's plan in here, and I know I haven't really planned for quite some time in here, but um, we've had a lot going on, so I haven't had much time to do the videos. But I'm really, really happy with how this, um, this week came out. It was really pretty, and I had a few adjustments to make, which uh, right here, you see this one little block here that made it not even all the way up. So I've gone ahead and fixed that. And so this week, everything um, has been corrected for sizing and I'm really excited to show you how it's gonna come out. I'm gonna go ahead and spread, uh, speed you through while I go ahead and add the washi and the glitter headers. Um, so stay tuned for that.
I am so sorry for how painful that was to watch. <laughs> um, this is my first week planning in it since I made the adjustments and I used last week's um, time slots for putting in the washi, forgetting that I had to accommodate for this first line up here. So if you are looking to do a <coughs> layout that has even boxes all the way down, you are going to want to um, put your your header starting at the first box and then at the 11 o'clock hour and then at the 18 hour mark. That will give you three even boxes for you to put your full boxes in. Um, I personally do not um, use the weekends to put full boxes in uh, because I'd like to have that extra space for planning. However, I did include um, enough that there's eight boxes so you can go through all of the days if you want to with a full box plus I have an extra one in case you have one that is not one of your favorites that you can switch out so um, that is why these ones are blank because I'm not going to fill those in um, <clears throat> normally this is my desk planner so I would have like my school stuff in here for my kids however they have the week off so we are not going to be adding that in this week um, but I do like to use these flags to mark down their um, class hours. Um, there are seven of them, so you have them even if you want to use them for work. Um, I did make them all match this way. Your um, headers, if you choose to use them for work or school, will match all through the week. So I'm going to go ahead and get these headers um, marked with the dates. And... Um, like I said, I'm really, really enjoying this new planner. It is the perfect layout for me, something I've been wanting for a really long time. So I'm so happy that I discovered this company a few weeks ago, and I ended up ordering both the B6 for my wallet size, everyday carry, and then I've got the A5 for my desk planner so I can keep track of everything that we've got going on throughout the week. So the last few months have been so hectic and I've missed getting on here with you guys. And so I'm very happy to be able to have a little time this morning to be able to film. My daughter's gymnastics schedule got me very busy over the summer and then we started with homeschooling. So um, it's just been really, really hectic. Um, since August pretty much so uh, we are now on a routine for gymnastics she's going two days a week for her lessons and then I mean her group lessons and then I want to try to do like a private lesson for her every other week so we've got competition season coming up in January and she's really looking forward to that so I want to give her as much practice time as we can This week is Thanksgiving. It's only my second time ever doing Thanksgiving. So I'm hoping that um, everything goes smoothly for cooking and all of that. So I think this year we're going to do something different. And I've already told my kids and they're a little excited about it. Um, I want to have each of them in charge of a dish. So they pick out something from the meal you know, menu that we're having and then they are in charge of making it. So this way, everybody gets involved in making the meal and gives them a little bit of an opportunity to learn how to uh, work in the kitchen. Now I know, hold on a second. Every time I catch this little loop here. Um, I know that the weekend here is a bit different than what most of the weekends are in the planners that we've been using like the cousin and the jibun uh, techo but I'm still using the same size weekend banner because technically at least for me the weekend is Friday Saturday and Sunday my kids do not have school on Fridays um, so our weekend lasts the entire three days so I'm going to continue to use these 
um, and put that right here at the bottom. Okay, okay. Um, Monday and Tuesday are we are going to be working on a few lessons. They don't actually have school or life sessions, but um, the teachers gave them some work and told them that they had until Tuesday to complete it. So if we don't complete it all today, which is Sunday, we will use that um, time on Monday to get that done. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that in. So I'll mark this for Monday morning. Also, I wanted to make a note um, so it just makes it easier for you when you go to put on the washi. I've designed it so that it goes inside of the line to inside of the line because I don't like when there's a little bit of an overlap down the vertical line here for each column. And so um, when you put them in, just make sure that you mark them, you know, right to the edge, but not overlapping the gray. Um, this way you don't have a gap in the center here. I didn't line it up correctly. And so there's a little bit of a gap, but that's okay. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> My husband forgot I was filming and came in the room. All right, so I'm gonna mark this down to complete any additional assignments that we have left for the week. Um, it shouldn't be much because we've been trying to work on them all weekend. Okay, so um, Tuesday we have gymnastics. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, I still want to use an hourly box, I think, for that. So I can write in the time. Um, oh, also, I had a little bit of a hard time putting this one back on. So um, just to let you know, there are seven strips of washi. So if you um, need an extra, there are a couple of extras in there. Um, I mean, that is if you only use the full boxes for the the Monday through Friday portion of the planner. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this down for gymnastics. We only have the one class this week, so Tuesday at 4.30, we will have gymnastics. Go ahead and grab my gymnastic sticker. Over the last few months, I think we started in September, we started trying to learn how to do um, dip on our own nails because we were going to the salon to get them done before the pandemic, but um, I prefer to actually do them myself now. Um, so my nails are a little bit longer than they usually are. And so, um, relying a little bit more on my tweezers than I was previously. Um, but it's been a fun adventure. My daughter and I are learning together. She just turned 13. So, um, something that actually I've been wanting to know how to do it for a long time, but she pushed me into it because she wanted to learn too. So, um. So I'm gonna move this one down just a little bit because I like to put my coffee sticker at the top. And so I'm gonna use a flag for that because we are not using them for school this week. Okay, and we're gonna put my little headwig here, and then we'll put the school sticker over here. And of course I line that up on. Guys, I am so sorry. I am still learning to function with these nails and stickers. I'm not used to having my nails done. It's been several months since we were able to go and have them done professionally. So in September, it's only been about two months that we've been doing them again. 
Um, today we're actually going to be doing the grocery shopping for Thanksgiving. Um, but if I don't finish everything, I will probably go tomorrow. Although my husband is working tomorrow and I need to mark that down. Um, because he usually is off, um, for part of this week or, you know, working a regular schedule. But tomorrow he's working, um... I don't know if, if you're new here, you wouldn't know this. My husband's military, and he he actually is in the band, so they're in charge of doing the holiday um, the holiday concerts and stuff. So this year they've canceled that, and he is going to be actually doing like a virtual um, concert, which will be tomorrow and Tuesday they'll be practicing for that. They're going down to the place where they usually record uh, or have the live concerts and they're actually going to be um, recording it right at the theater. And so he'll be there all day tomorrow and Tuesday. And then once they're done recording and editing, they will be posting a live video for everyone to be able to see the concert. Looking for my sticker in the wrong planner so it doesn't help too much. There we go. I have all my script ones in one and all of my icons in another. All right, so Tuesday, I'm going to mark him here for work again. And Tuesday, I think that's all we have going on. Um, Wednesday, we don't have anything going on besides preparing for Thanksgiving. I think I'm going to go ahead and mark putting the turkey in with a little box down here. Um, still trying to figure out when I want to um, put in all the baked goods. My family has a hard time resisting. <laughs> the food when I get it cooked so um, I want to make sure that we don't have any missing pieces of the pie come Thanksgiving let's see I know I have a food one here to find it neighbors outside are talking quite loudly so I apologize if you can hear them. They are little kids that are playing on their scooter. Um, hmm, it's not in here. Hold on, let me check. In here, just to be on the safe side. We're going to be baking the bread on Tuesday, I think, and maybe the pie on Wednesday, so we'll mark those down. And then down here, I'm going to actually mark this one for cooking the turkey. So we're going to make um, the pie up here on Wednesday, and we will go ahead and Mark, we'll do this fairly early on Tuesday because uh, we have gymnastics in the afternoon. But along with all of this, on Monday, I also need to edit this video. And mark that down. one of the extra glitter headers for that. Or not. No, I have them because it's too close together. So we're going to mark edit here. And yeah, we'll mark it over here for editing the video. And I'm also going to mark that I'll be working on designing um, 
the kits that are going to be released on Friday. I am hoping to have two new kits for Friday, winter kits for after Christmas. Um, because on Friday we have our Black Friday sale. So I want to do as much designing as I can Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then um, have that all completed within those few days. Today I am completing all of the rest of the orders so I can get those out for tomorrow. And then on Friday we're going to have new releases. And I like to be more of a white space planner so I don't use a lot of labels. Um, I know I was for quite a while, but um, since being in the B6 Dallagy, I have gone more to a white space planner. So it's less labels and more scripts. Um, and I would like to, let's see here. I'm going to design Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So let me go ahead and mark those all in this way. They're on schedule and we don't forget to put them in. So we'll put this one here. I said the kids have no live classes all week um I'm not going to mark that down though because I know that there's no school this week um but here I do want to mark that we have the sale coming up had one that said don't forget okay can put this don't forget right there on Friday so that we are all set for the Black Friday sale I am so so excited you guys for the the freebies that are going out with this upcoming sale it is they are so pretty <laughs> they are so cute and i cannot wait to print my out myself some out to use for um january because they are more winter themed this time around than um christmas themed because we did the more christmas themed um freebies with our um less planner sales so this coming one will be with more winter uh themed stickers and i'm very excited about those Okay, so I think I'm going to mark, actually I don't even know if my husband is off on Wednesday or not. Usually he is, um, but on Friday I'm taking my daughter out and we're going to go and do a little bit of shopping. She always begs me to take her, so I'm going to take her this year. We're not going to go too far. Um, most likely a you know just one one stop over to GameStop because that sorry about that <laughs> my my undo fell off the desk um probably over to just go to GameStop um maybe Old Navy those are the two places that she wanted to go to so we will probably just hit those two places um on Friday but then on Friday afternoon I am going to be working um, with my husband. He is in charge of um, the FRG for our unit. And so he's asked me to help him out because they are doing a parade on, on Friday in the afternoon. And he needs to have somebody help him out with passing out hot cocoa for the soldiers. So we are going to use a little coffee sticker that I have here. And I'm going to mark that right here. And mark that for passing out hot chocolate. My kids are going to be helping with us. 
Um, so that should be fun. And then actually I don't have anything planned for the weekend. We will probably continue um, decorating for Christmas. Thursday, you know what? We will probably end up doing what we normally do after dinner and do a movie night and start. Well, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> We've been watching Christmas movies since August. However, we are going to do that again on Thursday because that's something we always do on Thanksgiving. So we will mark that down for a movie night. And I want to use a flag for that as well. Let's see. Put that here. There we go. And I don't want to forget also to stop on Thursday someplace. I'm not sure where I will find it because everything is closed around here usually. But I want to pick up the newspaper. We always get the newspaper on Thanksgiving so that we can look through the Black Friday sale ads. But as of right now, this is all we have for the week. And let's zoom that out a little bit so you can see all of it. And I hope that you enjoyed this. I am so sorry about the little hiccups that have gone through. And then um, next week should be much smoother um, because I've had a chance to go ahead and get everything laid out. But I am very happy with how this layout came out, how the kit uh, fits this planner and these will be going up in the shop this week um, so anyone who has switched over to the wonderland for this year um, the b6 size kits are already in the shop and the a5 size will be coming in the next day or two so thank you so much for staying with me through this and i hope you have a wonderful day and a happy thanksgiving